how to make barista style rice milk at home. To start out, you're going to need a half cup each of uncooked short grain and long grain rice. I'm using sushi rice and either basmati or jasmine rice. Toast them in a dry pan until they're lightly brown and have sort of a nutty scent to them. Then cook them according to their package directions and then let the rice cool until you can work with it. Add it to a high powered blender along with five cups of water. The reason I'm using two different types of rice is to achieve an optimal color, scent and flavor combination. You also need a high powered blender for this in order to break up the rice and prevent you from having a granular textured rice milk. Then add two and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract Add half a teaspoon of sea salt. Add a quarter cup of pure maple syrup, or you can use agave or honey or brown rice syrup, whatever type of sweetener you prefer. And then finally add two tablespoons of avocado oil. Pop the top on and let's take it over to our blending station. So you're going to be blending it for kind of a while. It's going to need two full minutes. I have a Vitamix Pro and you should only be doing one minute at a time with the Vitamix. So I start out on low and work it up to high and do a full minute. And the reason that I consider this to be a barista blend rice milk and not the regular rice milk is because it's thicker and creamier and it has a sweeter, more prominent vanilla flavor. So it's just perfect for adding to coffee or tea or iced coffees, really any kind of beverage. You can of course bake with it too, but I think it's really great for drinks especially. And that's it, you're done. This rice milk doesn't need to be strained and you don't have to use a nut milk bag, so it's really easy. Now we're just going to give it a good smell, because it smells amazing, and then put it into jars. You can use a funnel there in the top. Now, of course, if you are making your own rice milk at home, chances are you also recycle. So you can use any kind of storage container that has a tight fitting lid, and just pop in the rice milk. I'll probably use three bottles for this batch. It's a pretty big batch of rice milk and it will last in the fridge for about three to four days. It should have a tight fitting lid because although it doesn't separate as much as the uncooked rice milk, you still do have to shake it up a little bit before each use. And that's it. You have your homemade barista blend rice milk. Perfect for adding to any beverage that you can think of. Bye.